And where the hell is she? Come on, don't tell me we lost her trail again. I've been lugging this stuff around here for ages. What is it? She's close. I could almost taste her. So beautiful, so exotic. Like the fragrant flower of the lost Zilboan hillside, or perhaps like the perfumed mucus sac of the endangered wooded elk. What, you can get all of that just from mud? Oh, come on, it's just mud, David. Like, you've been in this jungle way too long. Finally, after months of tracking, we are about to cross paths with the Queen of the Amazons. Banished from her tribe, forced to wander the world in exile. She's been through here, maybe half an hour ago, moving like a powerful jungle cat, picking up pieces of mud, rubbing it into her naked flesh, masking her scent. Great, so we're like looking for some lunatic who likes playing in mud. But what if she's dangerous? Oh, come on, David, you know I don't like it when things get dangerous. You remember that time in Sharks? Like, I couldn't take a bath after that without breaking out in hives. I'm not going to encounter anything that will do you any harm, not unless you consider me a beast to be reckoned with. Then who would have thought covering yourself in salmon feces would have proved to be so disastrous? Oh, come on! I lost a leg, David! And I lost an awful amount of liquid that day. I was perspiring very heavily through that whole terrifying experience. Come on, I was the one who was in the water. You were like on the deck flinging chum at me and film, film! Shh. I believe we are getting very close now. Very close indeed. You know, David, I don't think this is mud. By the moons of Jupiter, I hear she's very close. Come, quickly! There's a strange jungle woman sitting in Betty's room. What? Give me smoking my stash again. What have I said about that? I'm telling you, there is a woman covered in mud sitting in Betty's room. <sighs> Rock off. Good turn. What are you wearing anyway? You look like a clown. I look like a clown. She look like a monkey going to a disco for pirates. Hello, my good man. I am an intrepid explorer looking for an ancient beauty of beast, a woman of such desire and intrigue. I captivate any audience, and I believe that she may well be the. Hello, my good man. I am an intrepid explorer, and I am looking for an ancient beast. You two listen to me. I am not interested in your documentary or your stupid fantasies. Now, if you will excuse me. 
I'm going to go be with my friends now. Please go away. That full shaved head thing and uh, not to uh, a bit ill. Like, I mean, well, I just read one guy the other day is looking as though he, I, I said to him, welcome to the real world and he said why? And I said, well, you look like you've just been unplugged from the matrix because <laughs> he shaved his head. <laughs> <laughs> she's amazing. Oh, she's assimilating. Oh, what a remarkable discovery. Oh, baby, she just assimilated my balls to the inside of my thigh. It would be remarkable if I could ever just be straight again. Make sure when we get home, take a swab. Maybe some of her DNA was deposited in the depths of her khaki undercurrents. Uh, not again. Um, and, uh, the, the 